Alright, hello everybody, this is Demon coming back for another round of Final Fantasy XIV's Endwalker. So, uh, this will be the intro that I'm using for it for a while, guys, just because I'm probably going to be playing this straight and probably won't have time to do intros and outros. So, I hope everybody here enjoys, and thank you for watching this, and let's go ahead and start it right up. Alrighty, welcome back everybody, look at this, my character is the only one not freezing to death, wearing uh, a jacket uh, that only covers the upper arms, and short shorts. Now I'm not dead. So let's go ahead and see if we can attune to this ether right. Chances are I'd say we can. Wow, I didn't think they'd let us. Now can I teleport back here? What's this place considered? Um Ilsabod Gardamold. Thavnir and uh Thavnir's part considered part of Ilsabod? I did not even bother to check that, but okay, that works for me. Um I would typically want to run around and talk to everybody, but uh, let's just talk to the twins this time around. So let's talk to Alize and Alpha now. Shouldn't be long before we have a half decent camp with so many helping hands. I, can talk. I was concerned the snow might hinder our progress, but our guardian friends are used to working conditions like these. <laughs> Despite the obstacles we face, our plans proceed apace just a little farther and we will reach the capital itself. Still, we mustn't get ahead of ourselves. As soon as the camps have been made to fit for purpose, we are discuss the course of action with Lucia. Would you mind asking Ishtola and Graha to join us in that building to the northeast of camp? Alza and I will meet you there. Oh, that's what I forgot to do. Also, if anybody's... Oh, no, 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 apply. Um, anybody else is kind of... What the hell was that? Are they Ted dancing? Oh, no, they're not. All right. Also, if anybody's kind of curious what this stuff looks like, I'll show them out when I need to show them out. But as of right now, I kind of wanted to show these guys off. So if you actually ordered the game, you got this guy called uh, Pelum. Uh, based on one on half of the pair of twin mages, this charming minion. I think if I remember right, this is from Final Fantasy IV. So you get this little guy. And then you also get his twin sister that looks exactly like this. So you get this too. So yeah, that's for doing the uh, collector's edition. I like my little buddy. But I, I, I go back to Kiko because Kiko cool. Kiko my favorite. He's my favorite little, he's my favorite minion. I always keep Kiko. Anybody says otherwise, I'm going to shove my boot up their ass. Also, you get the mount too. I'll show the mount off whenever, like, again, when I get a chance. As of right now, there's no point. Meaning, yes, I'll make my way over there once my head is cleared. The truth, I've been feeling out of sorts since we arrived. They ever stick with a palpable air of malevolence. Tis the monstrous tower on the horizon, jagged, hideous, unholy, even at this distance, presence is overwhelming. Much like the sensation I felt in the Tower of Zalt, only far more terrifying. Ether flows unceasingly towards it, converting it to a swirling mass of fathomable power. For blessing, the constant chill in the air is helping to anchor my senses in the here and now. Tell the others I shall be with you in a few moments. Where's Graha and all this? Well, I guess I could show off the mount, get over there. So this is my horsey, this is the paladin horse you get. Uh, he had wings, and what appears to be a dragon tail. Of course, he's badass. Oh, I forgot to do this. I turned that off. But I think this is, this is the music it plays. Kind of cool, but I don't need to use it too often. Uh, you please know most of the Tempered have been quartered inside the nearby buildings and are receiving treatment as we speak. I do, however, feel no small amount of guilt for com commandeering civilian homes. The occupants may be long gone, but everything is exactly as they left it. Considering length time that's clearly passed since, one would expect to find them ransacked. Strangely, there are no signs of anything having been stolen. It's possible that everyone fled to first sign of trouble, though it seems to me they left far too many useful possessions behind. I, although there is no clue evidence, I strongly suspect they were tempered. Sorry, I was merely thinking aloud. You mentioned a meeting. I will make my way there. I don't know where anybody else in the uh, group is at. Like, I don't know where Lisa's is at. I don't know where, like, a lot of the bigger group people are. Nope. Well, I'm going to say go in here. Oh, there they are. So... Arusena, type soldiers sleeping silently while they undergo treatment. They are t uh, too many attendant once, but I, I and the other heels will see you to all of them eventually. Hell's bells, this place is bloody freezing. I'd rather be tied to the top po top mast in a storm to suffer any cold any longer. Anyone can spare a swig of rum? That will sort me right out. 
has all the remains of Latrium. Homes become empty husk. If this is the state of the outlying villages, I dread to think what has become of the capital. We've asked the Ironworks members and some of our other comrades to stay with the airships in the event we are discovered. We must be ready to move them swiftly to a safer location. Rabal taught me a lot about the military strategy and exercise and fringes. Coordinating units with wildly different capabilities, surveying and securing hostile terrain, that sort of thing. I have a chance to put this teaching into practice. <laughs> Virgalia is in our care along with the rest of the temper. Glory to Garlemald, glory to Garlemald. They still whisper in their sleep even as they rift in pain. I talked to Pippin, right? Yes, I almost remember some of the other comrades stay within the air with the airships at the event we were discovered. We must be ready to move them swiftly to a safer location. Thank you for informing the others of our meeting. When everyone is here, we will begin. Ah, <laughs> uh, my leg. Our present situation is as follows. Efforts to aid the people of Garlemald have begun in earnest. Moreover, having entered into the capital, the Imperial Palace is within our reach. But before we proceed further, we must learn what has befallen this city. For therein lies the key to understanding and combating the Tolofaroi's designs. I have a suggestion, if I may. Several of the Imperial soldiers we captured on the Magna Glacias are members of the Popularis and acquaintances of mine. Once we have cured them of their tempering, they should be able to give a reliable account of the events leading to the capital's downfall. A promising idea. I will assist the healers and their ministrations. Of course, I will require a porxy of my own, assuming you can spare one. Would you like a hand? No, no, I am sure we will manage. Better that you take my place in the field. The noxious ether of this place disagrees with me, and as I shall need to draw on my own for the treatment, it would be prudent for me to remain within the camp. This talk of curing the tempered is all well and good, but I reckon the cold is a more pressing concern. All the houses round here are fitted with ceruleum eaters that could keep us warm and toasty. Problem is, the machines seem to have given up the ghost, and if we keep sitting around, freezing our asses off, we'll be next. My smiths reckon that with the right parts, they can have them working again, but it won't be easy. Understood. The machinists will assist them in the repairs. The rest of us should either stand watch or survey the area. We've made our presence known to the Telophroi. They will be searching for us, if they have not already ascertained our position. That we have seen no sign of them since the battle suggests they have yet to do so. However, I suspect they may be biding their time. Or perhaps we are beneath their notice. In any event, we'll find no answers standing around here. Urianje, Estinian, and myself have visited Garlemald recently, so we'll lead the reconnaissance efforts. Perhaps bolstered by a few Bosnian and Dalmaskian scouts from my previous excursion for good measure. Don't forget about us Alamegans. We have experienced scouts of our own. Well now, this is turning out to be a rather sizable team. With such numbers, we shall be able to cover a wide area with relative ease, including that surrounding the Imperial Palace. How about you, Graha? I have a feeling we'll find a use or two for that vanishing spell of yours. <laughs> Twould be my honor to be of service, though I doubt that you of all people need rely on my tricks. That leaves us with guard duty. As a matter of fact, I have something else in mind for the two of you and Alphino. Between here and the center of the capital lies the Eblen Rhyme. I would have you search the area for survivors. Your keen sense of direction, honed in your extensive travels, should prove useful in navigating the ice fields. 
All right, ice fields. I love ice fields. Oh wait, no, I don't. Extent of travels is something of an understanding, but I suppose if there's nothing else it needs doing. If there are any stars, we'll surely find them. Um. <laughs> yeah, three is probably the most realistic, but I'll do one. I have faith that you will, and look forward to greeting you on your safe return. You all have your duties. Let us make haste. May the fury bless and keep you. Oh god, I didn't bother checking the journal to see what levels they are. Still level 82, I'm almost level 83, poggers. I never thought myself much of an explorer, though I suppose my adventures have taken me to all sorts of strange and distant places. With that in mind, traversing an ice field should be a simple feat. <laughs> Gods be good. If this is the cold with Tatar if it's this cold with Tataru's clothing, I'd read to think how we'd fare without it. I must remember to thank her when we next meet. It makes me realize too that while the people of Garlemo have spent their whole lives in conditions like this, even they'd be hard pressed to survive away from the warmth of their homes. If there are any survivors, we must find them and quickly. Double up? God damn it. So it's the Albon Rhyme we go, but where do we even start looking in such a place? Uh, Lord Manny knows. What ho, chums? Been giving, uh, something to do, have you? As it happens, I too have been ordered to make myself useful. Sounds like a rather tall order. Ahem, since you ask, we are to sky the Elb Elbin Rhyme for survivors. But run around ice fields on the off chance you'll find someone. You take forever to finish job without the benefit of my expertise, or most practically, my telescope. Come, friends. I just know the spot to begin our search. Or man, he knows what he's doing. I'll uh, probably regret this, but we may as well humor him. I don't know. I mean, he he he, he has a chance of being useful. Ah, uh, my horsey go we snow. Peace now. Oh god. It's gonna be fun. Oh, there they are. On oh, a million years. It's like Alaska. Is that an oil rig? A few ones I can see don't appear to be resident. They may still be war in investigation now. Surprised by how many wild beasts are roaming about the place. Perhaps now that soldiers are done, they're free to wander and forage as they please. Hell yeah, they are. God help us all. I spy with my little telescope a massive sheep thing. Or maybe it's a cow. Not that we're after either way. And is that an ether carrot? Oh no, just a wind sprite. Hmm. I know it's all snow, 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 but lo, what do I see over here, you hillock? Is that a second? That's a girl. Why is it Lord Manny who finds him? Survivor, show me. Over there behind the tree, it looks like she's running away from something. But it's certainly not us. She wouldn't even know we we're here unless she had a telescope like mine. All I can tell is that she's wearing a pale green dress, a rather fetching one at that. It should be long gone by the time we get anywhere near, but we should be able to follow her footprints. I'll let Lucia know what you're headed. Oh, and take these warming tinctures with you. Poor girl must be chilled to the bone, if not on the verge of freezing to death. It's actually very thoughtful, thank you, but won't you need some for yourself? No, no, I'll be fine. As a matter of chivalry, my honor demands me, I do no less. And unless we forget, the very reason we're here is to protect those in need. Now go and go at speed. You're just doing it because you're trying to get, you're just trying to get with her. Why are you still here? If you delay, if you dally any longer, you will miss your chance to play the hero. I love my horse. He goes nay. That's the one thing I had to adjust to is that um, even though I haven't been playing too much M Walker, I have been playing Final Fantasy, and I've been helping Red complete a Realm Reborn. He's getting pretty good. I think he's, I think we finally he finally reached discard, so he's finally getting a feel for it. Which I think a 
trail fresh footprints leading east. I think it's been I think it's been kind of nice letting it because he's been playing it because he got the starter and then gets an extra free seven days, so he should be able to at minimum minimum get through Round Reborn. But as I told him, once you get the Heavens Ward, you kind of buy the rest. These footprints appear to be the same as those you saw previously, and they lead towards the building. At least that's my opinion. That's how I was. And then, um... Yeah, just between that and just helping him out, I, I just been kind of doing the Beast Quest. Although today's uh, queue time wasn't pretty bad, because I came in at 6 o'clock in the morning. There was like only like maybe 20 people. Born labor here, this place used to be involved with extracting Corellium. Yeah, so... Before we go too much further into this, and I go off and forget. If you want to get on... Get on early at six. You'll feel you'll feel great in the morning, and you get to play. Trust me, trust me. Getting closer, I'm sure of it. But as we thought, she'd gone inside the building, but the door doesn't look to have been opened at some time. She might be still nearby, so we'll keep looking around here. Then again, it's also possible she ran right past this place. Would you mind searching up ahead? Is uh, Manulane said it's highly unlikely that she was running away from us. Even so, we must do anything to startle her. For all we know, she's soldier. We're soldier many are, so we need to be careful not to give the wrong impression. Tell me, she's got more footprints, right? Don't worry, everybody. We got Lord Manny on the foot. Is that an enemy or is that a player's mount? That looks like an enemy to me. Oh, that's an enemy. What the hell was that? Is that up here? Oh no, she's there. The only ranger instantly surveys her surroundings. Where you go all turn it might track wild beasts to your location. It'd be safer to get close first, but you, you must do so without drawing her attention. Well, girl, the gentle will end of if you were noticed. Make sure you make use of cover such as rocks to approach without being seen. Similarly, the objective will end in failure if you fall too far behind. Should you fail to complete the objective, we'll try again by returning to this designated location. So it says use the rocks. Those rocks? I don't know how far back her, uh... So what is the job of the goal of this? You have to approach her without approaching her. Going hard on the flank, baby. run up to her so you can't approach her that way so wait a minute you, you have to interact with her beforehand I'm very confused I wish they would have explained that a little bit better so you have to follow her to an extent until you reach the point where you can actually to talk to her but the problem is that you probably won't get too much of a notice on when the actual point is of where you actually discuss something with her at least that's me. That's what worries me. It's like, do you just run up while she's turned around and you go and talk to her? But it's just like, well, you're already that close, so why would she scream stay away? Some objective will also end if you fall too far behind. Should you fail to complete the objective, you may try return to the second. 
Pretty much you just follow her until you reach the point. Alright, uh, I'll go with it then. Fine. Just stay behind here and just follow her. That's fine then. Maybe I misread. I must have misread that or misunderstood the exact objective of this. My understanding is, is that you were supposed to interact with her, but... I'm also an idiot, so... Oh my god, this is the worst possible thing I've ever felt in my life. You know when you want to sneeze really badly, but you're holding yourself back from sneezing? That's what I feel like right now. You are one ugly ass bitch. That is not a rose. So don't lag behind, but don't get too close, poggers. <laughs> Take a long swath around on the left hand flank. Okay, I think I see the area where she's going. She's going up to that building. Gotcha. Well, she's obviously not tempered. They didn't put this here for no reason at all. Called it. This is creepy as hell. This is kind of bad. I'm sorry, Square. Do you have any idea how weird this is? You're just following this poor girl. It's like you want to learn how to stalk somebody to do exactly what you do in this game. <laughs> it's kind of messed up the more you think about it, but it's, it's kind of factual. Alright. I think I can go on left flank. Okay. Alright, now we stalked her, now we talked to her. That's weird. Phew, still in one piece. Uh... What, what would I, wait a minute, what's the difference between me coming up here and talk to her, or me coming up behind all the way down the other side and still talking to her? She can still run. <laughs> okay, that's even creepier. Hi. Who are you? Stay back, this house is packed with explosives, taking our step and I'll blow this place high high. That I doubt. Please, wait, we just want to talk. <laughs> I'm Alpha Nose, my sister, Alzan, our good friend is hiding here. We have no intention of hurting or taking anything from you or anyone else, I give you my word. We and our comrades have come to provide aid to the people of Garlemald. Aid, you savage are the ones responsible for all this. You did this to us. We didn't, I promise you. One of the other reasons we came here is to find out what happened here, in fact. The Thalaferoi are the ones to blame. They're the ones who laid waste to Garlamon, and they won't stop till they've destroyed the entire world. They're the enemy of our enemy. On our way, we encountered Imperial soldiers who had been made their thralls. Those poor souls are now in our care, and we are striving to cure them of their affliction. You're the first person we met who wasn't already enslaved. How are you able to escape the Thalaferoi's influence? Are there any others like you? I'm sorry, I don't mean to overwhelm you. Let's start with introductions. Can you tell me your name? Uh, my name's Lucina, and as far as I've managed to stay sane, 
I've been asking myself the same question ever since that night and the roar, the terrible roar, and then the screams. I was screaming too, I think. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Then came the science. Everything was still. It was like waking up from a, or waking up from a nightmare. I thought that maybe the fighting had stopped, so I stepped outside. If your hells are real, I saw one that day. I ran past friends, people I know all my life, eyes vacant, dead, staring at the sky. Others were mad and violent. I saw them struggle with soldiers, but I didn't stay to watch. I fled as far as my legs would take me. Your family here? Is this their home? No, this is Victor Spoils, a mansion for retired soldiers, or it was, but now me and my, me and a few others are um, borrowing it. As for explosives, I was making that up. I just wanted to keep everyone else safe, and I didn't know if you were uh, telling the truth. Our supplies are running low. You said you're here to help. Can you? Of course. Whatever assistance we can provide, we will. Thank you. I'd better tell the others first, though. Wait here. They're going to come out here and try to shoot us. This is everyone. What is? That would be... Zena says you can be trusted, but these are desperate times. We'd be fools to let foreign troops into our home. Having said that, were you to provide us with means of heating the place as a sign of goodwill, perhaps we could take you at your word. If that is too much to ask, then leave us be. I'd put my firewood gathering skills to use. Could you provide the spark with a little magic, Alizé? Put fire burning in no time. May we build it under the gazebo? The what? Oh, you mean the t the bower? Yes, yes, you do as you will. Oof. You're weird. New level? Pog, 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 pog. I'm back, baby. Ooh, pants. Cena's inner turmoil is written plain on her face. So I'm sorry, I was. I'm still finding it hard to come to terms with all that's happened. Now that you're here, though, I'm hoping things might change for the better. You know, I've worked up quite a sweat from all that running about, so I'll leave space around the fire for the others. As you tell, they're in a far worse state than me. We're planning to look for somewhere warmer or with more food. They're not going anywhere until we nurse them back to health, which I don't know how to do. Is there anything you do to help them? I'm an expert. It helped. Expert. What uh, they need most is a decent meal. We food back to camp, but there, there's the distance to consider. All's well, all's well. With food in my belly and a song to my heart. I can feel my fingers again. I treat their frostbite and their wounds, but it'll take time for the fire to do its work. Now, would you be a good occasion to make use of Manny's uh, tinctures, the ones that can warm the body from the inside out? Would you make sure everyone gets one? Side, though, I expect once the fire dies, it'll return with a vengeance. Warming tincture. I've never heard of such a thing. No harm in trying. But tell me, have you heard aught of the city? Though, call, though calling it that it seems absurd, after what happened, is nothing but ruins now. The few buildings still standing off no more than meager protection from the wind and snow, food production, water purification, the magic tech that sustained us has come to a grinding halt. With me Mechana that remains operational cannot be run for lack of Corellium, of course. Corellia ingens is full of stuff for all the goods it does us. No one here knows the first thing about extraction or refinement. All's well. Yes, yeah, never better. Oh, what sweet libation is this? Is it poison by any chance? Ah, uh, twas a joke, a joke, ha ha ha. Uh, if I laugh, tis that I may not weep, so said the poet. And last my tears would freeze on my cheek, or here they fell. For blessed damn, to bear witness to the fall of the great empire, while our brethren lie dead, or live on his puppets of flesh. First came the war, then came the roar. When morning came, Garbamold was no more. It is a cacophony, or a cacophony of gunfire explosion screams where our beloved capital raged the ground from the rebel rose. Several remnants, their lavish finery caked in ashes, they shuffled mindlessly toward the palace. 
each bearing a frame of stone or metal and offering perhaps to the architect of our destruction. A hopeful few tried to reason with the deranged, only be beaten for their kindness. But I knew better than to plead with the horde. I felt my health, stopped my conscience preserved. Now I wait with my fellow cowards for our final judgment. What do you want? Oh, this guy's most, uh, correct. Mm, tincture. May as well drink it, I suppose. This? It's a radio. You don't have them where you come from, I take it. We used to listen to the messages sent by others, even over great distances. There are different types, but this model is far by as far the most popular. It will quality components scrapped with the finest source source from Locus Ammonis, it is. Not all that is useful since the capital fell in ruin. The people at the broadcast station must have either fled or ended up like the others, because all we've been hearing is the same music being played over and over again. Home beyond the horizon. An ode to the brave men and women sent to reclaim our ancestral homeland of Locus Ammonis. Uh, we may have found an empire in these frozen wastes, but we always hope to take back what was once ours. Tis a solemn reminder that though we must suffer great hardships, better days will surely come. Despite everything I believe the Emperor Vars yet lives, and that he speaks to us through our radios. There's a cunning strategy faking his matter. He must have foreseen this catastrophe and chosen to conceal himself that he may one day make his triumphant return. No, he did. Yes, yes, I'm sorry, but Emperor Vars would not be defeated so easily. Oh no, he did. Uh, he did. Zenos murdered his ass. I wonder if that music is able to temper people. That actually makes me quite curious. What's that? It's called a tink shot. Keeps you warm. So, this is what you gave the others? Thank you. I'll save it for later. Actually, I actually have a few things to ask you. Sure. Are you part of a group staying in Latrium? I saw Legatus uh, Vigelius troops heading towards the Magna Glacis a few days ago, and are they the ones you encountered? Yeah, they attacked us, kicked their ass, and now they're trying to free them from tempering. Camp Broken Glad, she called it. And Vigelia and her men are all there now. Hmm. So how did you reach Magna Glacis? Did you cross the mountains on foot? Airships, then there might be a way to... Sina, where is everyone? Is something the matter? I heard a voice in there, it sounds very frail. A voice from inside, you say? It must be magic things. Everyone's out here. Perhaps a baby, Elmasty, has found its way to the house. It wouldn't be the first time. That soldiers to scare them off while the animals been roaming close to the summit. Some have been known to attack people, too. I've had an idea if you and yours are strong enough to defeat a Legatus, then surely a few beasts shouldn't pose a threat. Do you mind to continue helping us? Perhaps you can head to the other side of the lake. There's a small group of tappers living there, people whose job was to extract relium. They still do, for what we can tell. I've already tried asking if they would share their fuel with us, but they're not willing to give it away. They want food in exchange, lots of food, and that's something we don't have and can't get on our own. On top of that, to even reach their den, we'd had to make our way past all those creatures. Would you be willing to go to our place? We only need enough Corellia to last until the others are strong enough to travel to, our, uh, to your camp. If the other still stand, if the other still offer still stands, oh, and I don't expect you to give up on your own supplies, but there might be another way to pay the tappers. If it's Corellia you need, then Corellia you shall have. You better watch out for baby Alan Mousties while we're away. Thank you so much. To reach Tapper's Den, you'll have to cross the lake. The ice is thick enough to support a person's weight, but if you'd rather not take the risk, you'll need to take the long way around. Finding the entrance can be a bit tricky, too, so it's easier to just look for someone standing guard outside. However you decide to head there, please be careful. I wonder what that frail voice was. I wonder if it was somebody who was tempered, or if it's somebody that she's, or like an older individual that she's trying to keep safe. I'd like to know, but there's no way of knowing, because I can't open door. I can't go in. Um, but let's sit there and see. We're going to go talk to the Burly Tapper. Well, actually, you know what? Um, last episode might have been a bit of an extended one, but I think this one got off on the perfect timing. Um, I actually don't have that much time to record today. 
Uh, that's why I kind of got up at 6 o'clock. Because I didn't know whether I was going to have time to get on or not. Um, I'm actually holding myself to waking up at 6 for a little bit so I can actually get on and uh, try to record an episode today because I really want to continue the Endwalker story. Um, I might try to get on later after work, but i got to be at work at 9, so it's going to be a fun day for me. Um, but uh, that's just the thing. I'm trying to get myself to play this. I want to continue the story before I forget anything. But uh, so far, it's been pretty enjoyable. we got two episodes out today. We're here in Garlemald. Um, the next place we head down to is down here, and we'll go see if we can get that Corellium and trade food for it, or whatever it is. I don't know. So, here's past Demon giving you the outro. Alright, everybody, this is Demon telling you goodbye. I hope everybody enjoyed this episode of M Walker. Um, again, I probably won't get too lucky and have too many, like, openings, because there's gonna be so many people playing N Walker, so, um, I'm doing a custom little outro for it this time around, so, uh, as I always sit there and say, please like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys then. Thanks.